here with the Alchemist. What's, What's up, good, bro? Rob? What's How are you? On? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Uh, all right. So the internet's still buzzing. You know, uh, Jerron and this and Brian Norman Jr. The negotiations mm -hmm. fell apart, mm -hmm. and. <laughs> <laughs> you petty. Yo. What? What I do? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. I ain't doing nothing. Go ahead. All right. Um, what's your thoughts on the route? On the whole thing? Yeah, when the negotiations falling apart. I mean, if you cool with being on an undercard and 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 not eat, try to unify, I mean, that's 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 on you. I mean, you took a less paid day. Um, but I get it though, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like. He's trying to go for more money because, you know, hospital bills cost a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, reconstruction surgery and possibly, you know, stays. And then you got to pay for the cable on the TV. But, you know, and then also, too, you got other situations like. And then you got, you know, different zones. So I don't know. Bro. So it's like, I don't know what else to say. You know, but I mean, at the end of the day. Norman's a fighter. He's going to fight whoever. You know what I mean? And he could fight. But we know what happened over there at Philly Boxer 101. You know what I'm saying? I was there. I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> did you expect for there to be a, a deal that get done? Like, did you, did you I think thought it was? I thought happen? it was. I thought it was. I thought they was going to do something. I thought they were going to do some kind of, come to some corner, some sort of agreement, meet in the middle, something. But... When you heard the numbers, right, the numbers that was going back and forth, mm -hmm. did you think, like, okay, yeah, like, they're definitely going to get a deal done with this number? I thought so, but at the end of the day, all right, whether you want to pay your promoter and your managerial uh, percentages, it wouldn't matter what purse you're getting. You still got to pay that. So now that you're on an undercard and you, you could have been fighting for higher money, you still got to come up with that money. So now you're walking out of that fight with less money. You know what I mean? But what it seems like, it's like one of those situations where it's kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to ever get uh, uh, another shot at this. Or I don't know if I can get another title because of promotional reasons or managerial reasons or whatever. So I just want to get a quick cash out type thing. It's just sometimes everything comes with a price. You know what I'm saying? Especially ass whoopings.